Hello there, Stefan and Martin here from Schildwach Potsdam. And today we talk about the Bolognese rule set. So in the next few months, in the next years, we'll hopefully hold a lot of tournaments after this rule set. And the next one is the one in August 22, the Torneo de Sparta, where we fight with Rapier and with Sword and Buckler. So, a uh, quick overview for the rules. So the first thing is, of course, you need appropriate weapons, which includes the buckler, a sword, and these swords have to be, of course, blunt, flexible, and they have to be tipped. Okay, that's the first thing to keep in mind. Tip your swords. It just leaves you and your opponents a bit safer. Okay, the next one is safety equipment. And of course, you need a CE2 mask with at least 1,600 Newton uh, thrust resistant bib and a rigid back of the head protection. You need rigid throat protection, shin protection, knee and elbow protection. Okay, so don't forget these. You also need in your soft kit, there's so, so soft protection for the legs and the torso, which is also thrust resistant at least to a degree of 350 newtons, like the standard spas jacket or black armory, you call it. All right? You also shouldn't forget these, all right? You need rigid protection for all your important parts. All right. So let's talk points and scoring. The Bolognese rule system is based off a rule set in Antonio Manciolino and to a degree in the Anonimo Bolognese. But it also includes a system where it's awarded that you're finishing bouts, so encounters with your opponent without getting hit. But an encounter, so a bout, only ends with a hit. So it doesn't pay off to just go lurking around and just probing each other. The bout only hits, uh, only ends with one or two opponents getting hit. Okay, so uh, for example, if we fight and I strike Stefan, so, then my opponent is allowed to go for one action after they are hit which includes the possibility of one step. So one action and one step after you get hit, that's still possible. Okay, so don't just stand there, but go for a proper retreat, okay? Because everything in that action is still counted to the full, all right? And the first criteria to for the final ranking. So it's uh, usually fought in a kind of round robin tournament and depending on how many participants there are in total, you might actually fight everyone in the tournament because we really like tournaments where you get to fight a lot of people and not only people that are really successful have a lot of fights. So usually in uh, KO systems, the fighters which drop out early have very a uh, few fights and the fighters who do well have very have a lot of fights in our system usually all fighters all participants have an almost equal number of fights okay so you fight almost everyone in the tournament and with each opponent you fight three bouts and like i said a bout only ends on a hit and then one action with one step is included in that about as well. Okay, so let's do it one more time, but properly I try to strike Stefan and now I'm getting out. Okay, this was one bout. I scored one bout unharmed. All right, then we do the next one. Maybe Stefan hits me, but then I'm able to do my repost in uh, one step and hit him to the leg. So now we actually both didn't score about uh, unharmed, okay? We both got hit, so not really worth it in this, at least in this first criterion. And in the third, 
Stefan finishes about with a hit to my body and then escapes unscathed. So Stefan scores about unharmed. Okay, so this is the first criterion. So you already hopefully notice that each and every bout counts towards your final performance. Okay, so don't just go after if you've sco uh, scored two bouts unscathed, don't go easy, but uh, go full concentration mode. Try to not get hit in each and every bout, all right? Because only in the second criteria, when two or more people are actually ranked the same, going after bouts unharmed, then points actually count. Okay, and points, that's always a bit of an arbitrary system, but we decided to use a historical one, that one out of Antonio Manciolino, which awards three points for hits towards the head, two points for hits towards the feet, which is actually for us from the knee to the shin, not the actual feet because there is uh, soft soft tissue and no hard protection, so only knees and uh, shins. And he says this is awarded because it's uh, generally harder to hit these parts and everything else is just one point. Not depending on if you thrust or cut, doesn't matter, okay? Everything to the head, three points. Everything to the knee or shins, two points. Everything else, one point. Of course, your hits have to be martially valid. So don't just um, do for like a really, <laughs> like a really, choop, like just, um, just a tip cut or anything, like meaningless contact, or if we're maybe in a bind and I push my flat around here or anything, don't count on the judges of scoring these as valid hits, all right? Make sure, make yourself sure that all your actions are martially valid for them to be scored as valid hits. All right, especially if you're slicing, okay? So if, for example, if I, uh, I do not hit this thrust here and I want to make a slice, this is probably not a proper slice. If you want to slice, have some structure behind it, make the, the slices seen by the judges to make them count. Okay, two more actions can score uh, points in your bout. The first one is a wrestling action. Okay, so for example, if Stefan strikes towards my head and I properly do a defense here and then grab into the standing blade. It's really important here that the blade's standing still. Then I can perform, for example, a disarm. Or from the other side, again, a wrestling action where I show that I could throw Stefan here, okay? This is also a successful wrestling action, which are also defined in the general rule set of the DDHF, so the German Umbrella Organization. And all of these valid wrestling actions, which leave, of course, you and your opponent safe, are awarded three points and, of course, then zero points for your opponent. Okay. And the last one is if you step out of the ring. So for example, the sword is the end of the ring. With one foot, it's no problem. If you step out with both feet, then this is like I strike Stefan to the head and he doesn't strike me. So the bout's finished. I get the three points, Stefan gets zero points and I score the, the bout unharmed, all right? So, okay, let's talk warnings and regulations concerning hits and everything. So, unfortunately, we sometimes have to deal with fencers who try really hard to hit their opponents in any way possible, like going all out wailing or just fencing uncontrolled, all right? This is punishable by a card, all right? So there's not only like a minimum criterion for the hits to be valid, but also there's a maximum amount. So we all can finish the day of tournament unscathed and uh, live 
well to fight again the next day and the next tournament and the next training and hopefully for many years after this okay so make sure to take not only care of yourself but also of your opponent this also includes actions which like i said not only endanger your opponent but yourself for example so if we are fencing like here and maybe stefan even hits me and then he turns his back while I'm trying to strike my repost, then this is really unsafe for him, okay? Of course, I'm in the obligation to try to stop my hit with, with, uh, if, it's, if it goes to his back or the back of the head, all right? But sometimes it's really hard, especially if they turn around in the last moment. So make sure that you do not endanger yourself okay this is all this is punishable by card as well as for example just fighting really passively like i said about only ends and hits so this isn't really worth it but sometimes like this feeling out is like really they're like really boring and taking a huge break and occupying the space in the fighting ring and this is too passive okay and this is also punishable for example by a card okay Actually, all the actions which are punishable sh should be uh, common fencing knowledge. So if you leave you and your partner safe, you should be fine, okay? Just be a good sport. There are three possible, three possible cards, which, is, which are yellow, red, and black. Yellow is just a warning, okay? It has no consequences at all. But if you accumulate more yellow cards, or if you do something more severe, you might score a red card. And with a red card, your opponent gets scored the bout unharmed, and you, of course, score zero points, and they score three points, okay? So they get the maximum number of points for the bout, and they score the bout unharmed, which is actually more important. And if you do not learn from your mistakes after this, and you score any more cards, then there's a black card for you, which is disqualification, and all your bouts are scratched from the tournament, so everyone is actually uh, on even ground, not depending on uh, whether they fought you or they didn't fought you, okay? So, in summation, we fight a lot of opponents, hopefully even everyone in the tournament, depending on how much participants actually uh, register for the tournament. And there are a fixed number of bouts with each opponent. So everyone has the same number of total bouts they fight. And the first criterion is uh, how many of these bouts did you finish unharmed? But keep in mind, only uh, the bout only ends if either one or both opponents get hit. Okay, only after this, the actual scarring comes into play. And only after this, if there's still an equal number of uh, bouts unharmed and points, then we look who scored more head hits. And after this, it's really not, uh, so in our experience, not really important. Maybe it will become important in the finals because after everyone is finished, we have the total ranking and then the top four fighters will fight in the semi-final and a match for the third and the first place uh, will fight the finals, which consist out of five bouts, um, which are fought after the same rules. So once again, f uh, five bouts and we score who managed to uh, finish more bouts unharmed and only after that the points after that the point uh, scored hits to the head and if that's still equal then we just do another bout okay so this should be uh, fine and dandy after all okay did i miss something no. i can't think of anything if i did you'll uh, find out in a second because I'll just speak it in later. Okay, if you have questions, please leave them in the comment section or in the Facebook group or write us an email. That's no problem at all. We hope to fence you soon in one of our tournaments or feel free to use this rule system as you like. Until then, take care and ciao.